Today, I'll teach you how to design 3D printed mesh, and we'll start the design process in Tinkercad, and then we'll finish it up by sending it to the printer to see how the print turns out. Let's get started. Tinker time. Well, let's get started. So we'll bring out a block at first and we're gonna change the dimensions here. We want this to be two millimeters. And we want it two, that's two millimeters wide. We're gonna go two millimeters tall. Okay, but then as far as length goes, we're gonna make this 75 millimeters, which is three inches. Okay, that looks great. Okay, we have our initial bar. Okay, this is gonna work out great. We'll take this and we'll hit the Control D. Now you notice that was for duplicate. We'll move this over. And we're going to take this, I went over three notches, so we got about two millimeters in between there. So that looks good. Okay, now we'll just hit Control D again, and it just automatically adds one with the same distance in between, which is perfect. So then we can just keep hitting that, and it will technically just keep adding more and more and more and more and more. Okay, and what we're going to do here is we're going to try to make a square. So we just keep going till we're pretty close to a square. Okay, we're going to combine these. Good. Let's see what our dimensions are. 70 by 75. Okay. So we're going to take this down to 70. Now we have a square. 70 by 70. Cool. The next step is to take this grid that we just made. We're going to hit Control D and we're going to make a duplicate and we're going to spin that around 90 degrees. Okay. As you can see, that will give us our screen pattern here. Awesome. Now, if we want to add just a little bit of a border out there, then what we can do is take a, another block piece here and we'll take this to four millimeters thick. Okay. We'll take this down to two millimeters tall, which is, should be the same as this. And we can double check. First thing we should do for this grid, just to make sure we keep it together, is combine it. Okay, awesome. Now, that'll give us the ability to check. It's two millimeters tall. Now we take the next piece, which is also, also two millimeters tall. Okay, now we know that this is 70 millimeters, so we just take this and we make it 70 millimeters. Okay, which will give us the perfect length. Okay, and as you can see, we add that to it, it'll give us a border. Okay, so now that we have that on there, we'll take the piece we just added and we'll hit Control D. And then we're just gonna move this extra piece here to the other side. Okay, good. Now those are the same. Okay, so for the next piece, we'll hit We'll select that piece here on the edge, and now we're gonna hold the shift key and select the other piece. And now we're gonna combine those. Okay, now those are combined, we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate those, and then we're gonna spin that duplicated object, so which is both of those pieces here. We're gonna spin that 90 degrees, okay? And now, what we're gonna do to close these gaps right here so we don't have these little notches on the corners is we'll take these uh, edge pieces here and we'll take those out just enough to match up to the edges of the other one okay now we're going to combine all of these shapes and we have the screen grid here with a border so now the next step is to 3d print it and see how it turns out and here it is that turned out great. As you can see, everything is nice and symmetrical and this can be scaled down or you can use a modified variation of what you just learned in this video to make a thinner screen or whatever the use case scenario might be. But that turned out great. If you print one, let me know in the comments how it turned out and I'll see you in the next one. Tinker Time.